Are you looking for an easy to moderate hike? Then come along with us today and hike along the Santa Ana River Trail. Here we go. Good morning, I'm Kat. And I'm Kev. And we're your Wilderness Wanderers and today... We're going on the Santa Ana River Trail. We're starting off here on Glass Road, just off of the Highway 38 in the Barton Flats area. The great thing about this hike is you don't need a wilderness permit. No, we're in the San Bernardino National Forest and it's going to be a hike from here. We're going to try and make it all the way up to... South Fork? To South Fork, that's right. The other great thing about this hike is it is not at high elevation. We start at 5,400 feet. <laughs> One of the things we've already noticed on this hike is the bugs. So as you can see, I'm wearing a bug net. And I've got my buff and it works as a bug net too. So here we are looking attractive in our bug gear. <laughs> they work good though. We've been on the trail about three quarters of a mile now and it had been really flat, but now we've hit some switchbacks. This is a new trail for Kevin and I, so we really have no idea about it, but right now it's gone from a beginner's hike to more of an intermediate hike. By the way, if you don't have one of these extremely stylish and chic bug nets... <laughs> or one of these really cool buffs... We'll put a link in the description below to how you can get one of these. They're cheap. We're on the Santa Ana River Trail in the San Bernardino National Forest. What that means is we're not in the wilderness area and sometimes you might run across somebody who's mountain biking and that's okay. We just share the trail, we move over and they go by or and they can, they can fit on a trail that's just small enough like this. It's pretty awesome. We found a beautiful clearing in the trees here and whilst at this elevation you don't get the magnificent vistas that we have seen on other hikes when we're at eight, 9,000 feet, it's still a beautiful view. We've been hiking now around an hour and a half and we've gone two miles. It's not too difficult so our pace is able to be relatively fast but as you can tell, you know, fast pace means quick breathing. It's great out here. It's a beautiful day. It's a really pretty easy trail. Uh, it's, it's not cold. It's a nice warm day. Hey guys, we hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, go ahead and hit that like button. We have come across a spur trail that goes up to Barton Flats and San Gregonio Campground right here. It is a maintained trail that you can take from the campground right here to the Santa Ana River Trail. Ours is number 2E03 that runs from Santa Ana River headwaters near Coon Creek all the way down to Mentone. This trail also continues a spur from this all the way down to the Santa Ana River. These trails are well marked but they're marked with the number so make sure you remember what number trail you want to be on. Ha! Just like the bikes. That's Sugarloaf Mountain over there. great thing about this hike is there is a parking lot at either end so you can do it as an out and back or you could leave your car at Seven Oaks like we did but continue in a separate car all the way up to South Fork and then hike down so that would be your point to point today we're gonna make this a loop we'll show you how we're gonna do that in a little while look at this dead tree now you know it wouldn't be a hike with me if we didn't have a dead tree in the 
video. But look at this. Magnificent tree. Okay, we're at the end of this section of the trail. It starts at Highway 38 and South Fork Campground. Trailhead parking lot is right down this little road behind us. It's about six and a quarter mile from here to Glass Road, and we're at 6,200 feet, and we started at 5,400 feet. So I promised I would tell you how we're gonna make this a loop trail. We came to the end of the Santa Ana River Trail that starts off of Glass Road, ends here at South Fork. We're now gonna go down and take the Seven Oaks Road to the river and catch the trail down there and then make our way back along the river, back to Glass Road, thereby making it a loop. This is the beautiful shaded area that we stopped right on the edge of the Santa Ana River here. We had our lunch and then the thunder started. So we're going to head on back to the truck. We're at eight miles now and we should be back in probably a couple of hours. Our hike today is in the National Forest and not the wilderness area within the National Forest. We were just asked what the difference is. A wilderness area is protected and preserved in its natural condition where man is the visitor and does not remain. Unlike the National Forest, you cannot have permanent roads or structures, no use of motor vehicles or equipment. So, in the National Forest you may see cabins, roads, and cars. In the wilderness, we are the visitors. And we should always leave no trace. I know, Pilgrim. Let's go, Pilgrim. <laughs> He does these things and then he says to me, don't put it on the video, knowing I'm going to put it in the videos. Oh, <laughs> Kev's letting us know that we've reached nine miles. Five hours, 55 minutes. Kev mentioned earlier to me while we were having lunch that there were springs along the side of the Santa Ana River. The Santa Ana River is right behind me. So here it is, we found the spring. This is an arid forest. These are beaver tail cactus and there's plenty of them along this trail. Yeah, it's thunder right above our heads. This is a forest for Southern California for us. We are very thankful we brought our rain gear. We're getting wet. Kev did just remind me that we have hiked in the rain before and in the desert. Last time he and I were in Anza Borrego, we went out on an evening hike and it poured. We both really enjoyed this hike and it definitely became one of our favorite hikes over the last 18 months, even with the rain and the thunder. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell. As you can see from our relive, we did just under 12 miles. Please ignore the mileage as I forgot to restart our relive when we paused it at lunch. From Cat and Kev, your wilderness wanderers, we'll see you on the trails. Yeah.